Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I'm filming for you the finale to my 5x4 project pan. On the off chance this is the first video of mine that you've ever clicked on, then hi, my name is Roisin. I'm really glad that you're here. This is the finale to this project, so I will link up in the i a playlist that's got all of the videos pertaining to this project from the beginning so that you can see it from the intro and the updates before coming back to this video. For those of you who are regular, just a couple of quick things to say. First of all, just the last two weeks have been a bit wild for me, so I actually didn't upload anything last week. I didn't get a chance to. So because of that, this video really should have been up last week. Um, so it is actually ending. I had already kind of said in the last video I was thinking about extending it. I thought I would extend the project by like an extra week rather than quite as long as this but here we are, today is the finale. Also aware that I owe you my August budget video which I had intended to put up the week before but I didn't get a chance to film anything so I had to pull my emergency video and put that up. So what I'm going to do since it's now near enough the end of September is I'll just do the August and September budget updates in one video at the end of or well the start of next month. So yeah that little bit of housekeeping aside let's get on into the finale. First of all let's address the hourglass bronzer. So this was one of the reasons that I did actually intend to extend this project a little bit because I wanted to use it 50 times within the project and at the end of update 2 I had used it 25 times. So I knew I had 25 still to go. As we are now quite late filming this, um, I unsurprisingly have managed another 25 uses so I've got my 50 that I intended to get within this project. However, as expected, there is no pan. I didn't really think there was going to be within 50 uses. As I've said, I think every video this was in my project pan last year. I used it 100 times and got to this point. So the thing is, I feel like having used this 50 times this year, I know I'm halfway to that point. So if next summer I pick up with another 5x4 project pan or similar, if I go for another 50 uses, then within that project, I should have pan equivalent to this, theoretically. Obviously, I might have used this a little bit before I started it and whatever. So there's more than probably 100 uses that's got me to this point with this blush, but I think 100 uses over the two projects should get me some kind of pan in this next summer. And my intention is at this point to repeat this project next summer and to include this bronzer. So yeah, no pan, but 50 uses, which is, it's getting us into the starting point of getting that pan in the next project. So I'm still really glad that I put it into this project and I got that use of it this summer. Next up, let's discuss my primer. This has been cut open and is completely finished. So I'm really, really pleased. Primer is one of the bigger categories in my makeup inventory. And because it is a base product, sort of everyday product, it's not one of the bigger categories in comparison to the likes of like eyeshadow or lipstick. But in terms of those kind of everyday base product categories, um, I've got quite a few primers. So I'm really, really pleased to have knocked out another one. And because it isn't like a colour category primer, you know, it's not like lipstick and eyeshadow, it's a category I'd really like to see come under control, get down into single figures and like low single figures. So yeah, really, really pleased to have knocked another one out and be able to get this for my quarter three empties. Another thing that I have knocked out is my lipsticks. In this little pot I had the remnants of my MAC Cindy Lauper Viva Glam lipstick that was older than I ever want to actually Google and find out. We're talking super, super, super old. This was long overdue getting finished. I didn't really use it on my lips. I'd actually just used it on my cheeks because I started using it on my lips at the start of the project and I felt like my lips were getting really, really dried out because it was so well expired but I did have that little bit left and I just thought for how much was left I wanted to be able to say I had actually used it up rather than just decluttering the end of it so yeah the pot is empty I used it all I am so so pleased so I think that's the first lipstick I have ever finished it was in its bullet form it was in I think at least one possibly two project pans and then obviously 
the remnants have been in this so it's taken a lot of project pans to get there as well as any organic use that I had before the project pan started before I was in my project pan era um, and obviously any time I picked it up in between project pans but yeah first ever lipstick that I've ever finished and I am so so pleased so I get to say I finished lipstick this year even though the majority of the work was done in other years but it finished this year so it'll be in this year's empties. Another empty is this LA Bruquet hand cream. Very, very pleased to see the back of this. This was the bergamot one, so it wasn't, I had the original one, which I really didn't like the smell of. Um, this one was a slightly better smell, but still not one I would have chosen. I got it in a Liberty Beauty box. The only good thing about this, well, not the only good thing, it wasn't a terrible, terrible product. I just didn't love it. But because this packaging is like metal, I was able to put it through my tube squeezer. So that is always very satisfying when I get to to run something through my tube squeezer and see the all those little lines coming up. So yeah, very, very pleased that this is now finished and again in my quarter three empties. And the last product to update you on is my Beauty Pie Uber Youth Neck Spray. As you can see, there's still a little bit left, but it did come down another good jump. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you, possibly not actually, because my hair's kind of been covering it, but you might notice I have got a little Christmas jumper on. And the reason for that is because after I finish filming this, I'm intending to film the intro to my 12 pans of Christmas project pan. So as you can see, I have marked this last line here in red to denote where this project pan ends. And my intention with this, I didn't finish it within this project as I had hoped I might have done, but I am going to put this straight into my 12 pans of Christmas. So that is where the starting line for my 12 pans of Christmas will be. And I'm hoping that that will mean that I don't lose kind of focus of using this and that I will get it out before the end of the year. So yes, from one project into the next. If you aren't subscribed already and you like Project Pan content, my 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan will be going live in December. What I do is I start filming it now so that I filmed an update, well, an intro in September, an update in October and November and then the finale in December just in time for Christmas. So uh, I do start filming that now and then I set them all live as part of the countdown to Christmas, my sort of vlogmas situation in December. So if you're not subscribed already, do make sure you're subscribed for that. That will be coming your way very soon. So yeah, that's where we're leaving this product for this project. Not quite hit the goal, but putting it off into the next one. So it will be out by the end of the year. Anyway, that is everything for this update. So thank you so much for following along with me. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini project pan. As I said, if you're not subscribed and you like project pan content, I've got my 12 pans of Christmas coming up, but I do also have my project 10 pan that's been running all year. I will link that up. Well, I was going to say in the eye. I won't link it in the eye. I'll link it on the end card, my 2024 project pan playlist. You can go watch that from the start. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.